Hello, and welcome to East 7. Uh, I'm new, I'm not new to East, but I've never played this one. I've played East 8 and East Origins. I wanted to play East 9, but I wasn't aware that it wasn't coming out on Steam for a while, and I don't, I don't want to bother with PlayStation at the moment. So I'm going to wait till summer for that. I'm going to play this in preparation. It, th these games aren't exactly related to each other, but the main character's the same, and the world is the same-ish. I think, I think it's always the same world. He just ventures to different parts, and you don't really need to know anything about the other games to play them. Uh, I'm a big fan of Falcom, though. Trails games, uh, Tokyo Xanadu. Everything they make, I I love their music, I love their world building, so I'm excited to play this. And no, this is not my my menu is not cut off. This this is apparently a style choice. To make it look like the buttons off to the side. I, I don't know why I thought it was just zoomed in too far, but it's not. Uh also the buttons are very awkward. I'm playing on a PlayStation controller, but O is Accept and square is cancel right now, so until I can get in the game, I can't fix that. So hopefully I can fix it right away, or I'm going to be stuck with it for a bit. But, yeah. Uh, let's just get into it, I guess. Oh boy. I've always played East on Nightmare. Or Higher. Uh, but I've never done them live, or not live, but on a Let's Play. No, I... It's the only way I can truly enjoy th these games. I love the challenge. I... We're gonna cut some parts, uh, if I, if I die too many times, but... We'll see. Content of Afrocon. Approximately four... Kermail off the coast of Altago Bay. And in East 8, they do reference this game a few times, so... I don't really know anything, but I'm sure I'll know some of the references that they... as they happen. Hey, Adel, look! That island looks like it has a lot of ancient runes on it. Is that... Yogi. Can't really tell from this far off, but I bet, I bet it's a rundown shrine or something. Looks like it's half sunken though. He also doesn't talk. Dogie, yeah. Oh no, you got that look in your eyes again. That look always leads to trouble and walls. You know, Altago's famous for the gigantic beast that lived there. Seems like there could be some rare artifacts all over the place. Doesn't that just boil your blood with excitement? He's got like a cronk voice in uh, 8. I, I don't remember who, who it is, but I, I love the voice actor. I never can remember his name though. Ha! Huh. Of course it does. Man, talk about lucky, huh? Couldn't have come here, even if we wanted to, when the war was going on between Rome and Altago. Now we can cruise on in unhindered, thanks to the ceasefire agreement. We should thank Lot Ladok for getting us on board, too. Whoa. See, at the most, there'll be little references like that, like ship, to previous games, but it's not important exactly to know. Unlike Trails, if you play like Trails 2 and haven't played 1, you're lost. Or if you even play Trails 3 and you haven't played all the other Trails games, there's a lot of lost references there. Yeah, that scared me. 
the ship must be. Yep, one of the Dragon Knight's warships. Where are you? Captain. Controlling the area, I guess. We're in Altagi... Uh, Altag... Altaginian... Altaginian waters now. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't think of that one. I probably still said it wrong. So that's one of the famous naval vessels of the Dragon Knights. Took an entire Roman fleet with just ten odd numbers of those, huh? That's right. They are elite knights after all. And just because the war's over doesn't mean they've let their guard down yet. I just hope things settle down soon so I can do business in peace. Ha, <laughs> seriously. Ah, look over there. You can see it now. Oh yeah, looking good. Battle, Dogi. Welcome to the Kingdom of Altago. Hmm. Weird. Both East games that I played had like no civilization whatsoever in them. Well, no cities. Oh. Get in the opening? I love Falcom's opening. Although a lot of the times they have slight spoilers in them, but so do trailers. What can you do? Mm, they always have that signature violin in their music. Like I can I could pick out a Falcom song without any knowledge of it. If they made a new song, I would immediately know it's theirs at this point. Oh. So... Are we... Who are you? Are we in a deserty area? Then? Because... Yeah, it, it... Well, no, maybe not. I don't know. I need to play all the East games to, like, get the full world uh, in my mind. Because they, they have their own, like, entire map of all the cities and everything. You kind of learn about all the people through Adel's adventures. It's got like trails in the sky kind of style to it. When when you compare it to eight, eight, eight was such a big upgrade from this. I think as far as well, I, I think they just upgraded their engine. E seven. I'm definitely going to play 9 as soon as it's out on Steam. I think it's this summer. And depending on how long this takes, I might I might jump into another East game. Uh, before 9. Memories of the Celsetta. I want to play that one. So this is the Altago Harbor, huh? That's some handsome piece of work. Ha, huh, I understand your excitement. But do be careful after we dock, alright? Altago is a city is a metropolis, the political and economic center of the entire kingdom. It may be lively, but it's also a hotbed of trouble, particularly for foreigners. There's there have been some nasty rumors going around too. Speaking of, I'd best unload the cargo before it gets dark. But if you'd like to have a look around ahead of me, be my guest. Just take the stairs over there to get to the main street. There are a lot of stores in the area, so I'm quite certain you won't be bored. If you're looking for an inn, too, there should be one straight ahead. Alright. Thanks for your help, Captain. Don't mention it. Take care of yourselves, Adel and Dougie. Dry land at last. 
Consider your luck with boats. Considering your luck with boats, I'm surprised we made it ashore at all. <laughs> right. Well, anything you want to check out first? Maybe we should just walk around and take in the sights. Yeah, East, East 8 starts on the boat, too. Yep. Yep. 8 attack. Got it. I'm going to change all of this. Oh boy, how do I even get to the camp menu with this configuration? Yeah. Let me at it. All right. Yeah. All right. Let me at it. All right. Oh, they have the same voices. Oh, it's R3. Okay. This this I need to set this stuff up. Okay. I think I have it all figured out. Ooh, a journal. Okay. All right. But it's a little old. Can I jump in this game? It's a little it's a little strange. Because it still thinks that my buttons are different than they are. But button prompts are gonna come up that are gonna be weird. If button prompts even do come up. If there's any mini games that involve button prompts, I may just fail them. We'll see. So you're friends with a old one-eyed Ladakh, are you? Friends of the infamous anti-Roman Roman, Roman uh, pirate of the Meadow Sea. I expected something a bit more intimidating than you guys. You sure don't look like friends of a pirate. One-eyed Ladakh is the best pirate in all the Meadow Sea. He's, his anti-Roman sentiments are pretty famous. Infamous. <laughs> I hear he stopped by a couple of times. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, though, right? He's always welcome here. When old Ladakh told me about you scurvy dogs, I wondered why he praised you so much, since you look like land lovers to me. But the both of you worked hard, work hard, like the finest sailors on the sea. I owe you my gratitude for all you did on board. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Sorry, just wanted to try it. Once we're unloaded, we're off to the next port. Adeline Dogi, you stay out of trouble now, you hear? Wait a minute. Alright, lost your way, did you? Go up the stairs or yonder for Main Street and a wee bit farther <laughs> in the marketplace square for the, by the palace. Fare thee well, event travelers. I'm like making making up words on the spot here. Best of luck and health to you. What's that? Ever seen a cargo crane before? Since Altago's main industry is trade, the government actively seeks state of the art tools to promote it. Trade always plays such a big role in Altaginian life that we really need cranes like this one. Man, I'm gonna fumble all the words today. Hi, dog. Yeah, these games usually have good enough world building that you could just you could talk to NPCs all like all the NPCs in the city, and it would take you like an hour to go through it because they have different dialogues like two or three times. <sighs> Greetings, traveler. I saw you arrive on the big that big ship not long ago. Are you a merchant? I suggest you do all your shopping within the city walls. Is there a monsters behind them? Wouldn't recommend leaving the city. And really, there's no need to. We've got all the th all the things that are good. <laughs> yep. Okay. I hope we make it in time for the next delivery. It's been crazy around here lately. Better get the ships out early, just in case. Hey, get back or I'll... Oh, sorry. I saw your weapons and thought you were Roman invaders. I'm really sorry. At my age, and after all the things I've seen, all foreigners start to look alike. Next delivery date is nigh. Let's get them all them ships out to sea. Sorry I took you for a Roman. The older I get, the more they all look the same. There shouldn't be any secrets around here. There's a small island off the mainland Alt the coast of the mainland Altago. An ancient shrine of some sort built is built there, so the locals will call it Ruins Island. It sounds so exotic. You want to go to Ruins Island? You're a strange one to be sure. Unfortunately, Ruins Island has been declared off-limits by the Parliament. No ships are allowed to go there. Interesting. So sometimes I just dash forward and sometimes I roll? 
Whoop. Okay. No map for, for this stuff. Whoop. Hmm, what should I make today? We get so many rare ingredients these days. I just don't know what to cook anymore. You can't just enter someone's house like that, you know. Not unless you're merchants and you don't seem to be. The master is a traitor. He's quite big in the player in a, quite a big player in Altago's economic sector. I'm certain you must have heard of him. Yep. I have not. Whoa. To get the ball rolling on uh, trade over the Meadow Sea, we must all always plan ahead. With the war over, we may now show the world our prowess once more. Otako was a kingdom of commerce from the start, so with the war over, we may show, yep, our prowess once more. You didn't have anything new. Let me oh. it. Oh. Let me you it. roll. No, you do the same thing. You got big eyes. Like huge. Oh, now they're normal. Ah. Aerith? Huh? Oh, you want us to buy one? Yeah. Kimona flower. She seems to be giving one more as a bonus. Perhaps she thinks it would be look good in Adel's hair. Nadley fa flower? Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Strange girl. Seems really upbeat though. Looks good on you, Adel. <laughs> Maybe it'll, it'll bring us good luck. I swear I'm good at talking right. sometimes. Today is not that day. The official religion of Altago is Trith... Trith? Uh, oh man. Trithism. Trithism, probably. Which defi uh, deifies gods of the sea, sky, and earth alike. Stand on that platform and you may behold a marvelous statue of the great sea god Gratheos. Mmm. It's a marvel. Hello. Ah, oh, you're foreigners, aren't you? Looks like you just got here. This is the main road of Altago City. Go west and you'll find some shops and a tavern. Well, It's been so hot lately, and it's just getting even hotter every day. I've lived in Altago City for many long years, and this heat is unprecedented. Much too much for my old frail bones. I added old there. Rude. My business is doing so well, I can't stop laughing maniacally. Ha <laughs> ha. I can't laugh maniacally. It's all thanks to the Prime Minister. I love you, man. Okay. Thanks to our local economic policies, merchants like my master are able to flourish and strengthen this kingdom. I benefit from this as well, as my wage is truly quite respectable. I am forever grateful to my master. Why am I only talking to you once? So yours is the same. What about you? I'm so often preoccupied that my master's harsh tone of voice makes me jump. I wish he'd speak more calmly. Mm. Yep. He seems like he's a strange one. Hi. Teresa... Teresa Runians? Charmed, I'm sure. My father sells his merchandise with the largest business firm in Altago. Of course, it's all goods that mere commoners like yourself could never even dream of purchasing. Wow. A gentleman should not overstay his welcome in a lady's room. It is time for you to go. Okay. 
shouldn't have been in there in the first place. Anything down here? Oh, so interest. Oh, there is a guy. Civilians are not allowed in the old waterway. No exceptions. So I'll ask you to keep your distance, please. So weird having a city. Just in general. I guess... I guess Probably not weird to other people, but this is, this is the first one I've played like that. Sorry, but we're not open yet. You guys must be foreigners. Come back after you kill some time around town. There's a limit to how much recovery items you can carry. It's necessary to think before using them. Ah. Good to know on Nightmare. I'm so tired of Altogenian clothing. Unfortunately, travelers love it since it's all so cool and comfortable. I just wish there were some exotic outfits from foreign countries every now and again. Something cuter. Ah, customers, welcome. This is my weapon shop. Unfortunately, we're in the middle of an inventory. Yeah, c come back after searching around town. Got it. Oh my, a foreigner. We don't get many of those. Up these stairs, just in front of the palace, you'll find the public square, which is full of bustling shops. that are all closed. We're looking at Altago City's best tavern. How about it, boys? Care for a drink? We have lovely rooms to offer as well, so do feel free to make yourself at home for as long as you desire. Nice to establish them here. Our tavern can wet your throat and soothe your tired to vomit. bones. Damn those dragon knights. There's so much research to do, but if foreigners can't leave the city, my hands are tied. Sorry, I don't mean to complain. My name is Michael Wooten. Wooten. Nice. Seeker of knowledge. Let's compare notes sometime. Why won't they leave me alone? I'm offering to investigate the shrine for free. The true deal, is it not? Hmm, young men like you should not be at a place like this so early. Huh, I'm just joking. It's good to have young faces here. Get yourself at home. Apparently with the monsters getting ever more aggressive, monster repellents don't work anymore. With the Longma cart, peddlers would have a, have a terrible time trying to stay in business. Without the Longma cart. The Longma cart. I guess that only leaves Long McCart. Sucks for the merchants. Okay. Welcome. You must be travelers. The name's John. John Cordova. Very pleased to meet you. We serve as both a bar and an inn. Drop by for a drink or stay the night to rest your bones. It's up to you. Well, we need to go to the inn, right? Are we... Yeah. Where's that? Hold on. Let me All right. Oh, for some reason hitting, switching to Doki pushed me back inside. Oh, because he was in the door. This is a big-ish city. Guess we'll do the end stuff first. If there isn't, if we're even supposed to be here. Um, hi, I'm uh, Kevin. Kevin Lasseter. What's your name? Did you come here to start a business too? No? Oh, thank goodness. In that case, it's really nice to meet you. Sorry, I thought you might be a potential rival. I have everything I need to start a business. Except confidence, of course. But what the hell, let's get crazy. Well, that's... That's kind of confident. Oops. I heard that it's really hot here, so I didn't want to come at first. The room we're staying in is really pretty, and I love the clothes here. I'm glad I came with Mommy. Staying at a nice inn and wearing light, comfortable clothes. I'm glad I yep, came with Mommy. Altago is no longer at war now, so I brought my daughter with me this time. Altoginian Alta weapons are especially sought after for their superior worksmanship. can be sold at a handsome price. Hmm, okay. Hmm, good. Good stuff. I think it's pretty clear we're in a merchant city. Old Town's just beyond here. 
But it ain't meant for I the eyes of travelers like you. You best move along. Old town, huh? Uh, oh dear, was that my stomach? <laughs> you, you don't need to worry about me. I'll be just fine. I had to skip breakfast today. <laughs> oh. Them damn old town dogs are wandering about our streets. You can feel them. Feel them. Breathe in the same air they do. It's sickening. Old town dogs do nothing but pollute the air in Altago City. Hey, don't look at me like that. It's good for business. Cheap labor is extremely val valuable. If they weren't around, after all, then we'd have to do our own dirty work. People are willing to. People from Old Town are willing to accept low wages, so we use them whenever we need cheap labor. I see. I see where the score's at here. Oh. The water in the well is no good lately. It smells like something's rotting. It was never like that before. I need to get water from the city, and at my age, it's pretty rough. This is Old Town Altago. Traveler, this is all I have to say. Go back to the city. There's nothing here for you. Wow, you guys look strong. What do you do? Are you mercenaries? Huh? You're an adventurer? What's that? Adventurer? What's that? What do you do? We adventure. This is, no, this is a place for those who have nowhere else to go. Refugees, orphans, people that lost everything due to heavy debts. Everyone has their reasons. Hmm. Just leave us alone. Well. What? I can't hear what you're saying. I'm sorry, I'm very hard of hearing. You'll have to ask someone else. Oh. Travelers, please have pity on this poor old man. Is what you're expecting me to say, right? Because I'm poor? Don't assume I need your help. I could ever beg for food. Even the poor have pride. Well. This, this took a turn? You guys are dressed so weird. You're not from Altago, huh? You don't like the, look like the sorts of people Tia would be friends with. If you're not friends with Tia, then why are you here? Have you heard? Apparently, an ancient shrine was discovered after the earthquake. It's not something that happens every day. I heard the ancient shrine was discovered. Yep, fascinating. What? You feel pity for us? And give us some money or get the hell out. Take your pick, Red. Okay. This child's parents haven't returned for several months now. There aren't any jobs in Old Town, so they work on a merchant ship as laborers. I hope she comes back soon. Uh, I'm so bored. I know that sometimes there's just no choice, but the children must feel so lonely without their parents. Man, I want to play with Maya. I think we've almost explored the whole city. Always got to be a poor town somewhere. Oh, you're not the way out. Again. So, I probably have to go to Central Square, but... You there! Halt! You're not from around here, are you? Can't allow foreigners to just come and go as they please. Stay your, stay your ground. Huh? What do you mean by that? Just do my job, sir. Don't try anything funny. Okay... Mm. Hey, how about some fruit? What? You can't see them because very well because of the shade? That's because I need to protect them from the sun, isn't that obvious? Without these shades, the fruit would rot pretty quickly. You should buy some before they do. Oh. Why can you walk around like that, looking like that? Well, it's not like you're dressed weird or anything. You just look like mercenaries. The war only just ended, so people are still sensitive about outsiders. And you look like mercenaries in that getup. Well, not that I care. Since you're here, spend lots of money. Okay? 
<laughs> this is the central square. Isn't it so lively? You take the street next to the temple, you reach a big coliseum. Why don't you go have a look? Oh man, I can't wait for the next event at the coliseum. Oh, how beautiful. And they all smell so wonderful. What should I get today? Oh, you've got a portrait. Would you like some flowers? How about some herbs? My, what a lovely shade of red. You must not be from around here. And that flower. I bought it from the little girl earlier. A little girl? I see. Thank you very much. I'm sure you made her very happy. Huh? Does she know her? Please take a look. I picked these herbs and flowers myself. Altago City is quite beautiful. If I hope you enjoyed your stay. This one, this white one is so pretty, but this, so is this yellow one. It's an edict. Warning, monster sighted near Altago City are on the rise. Carrying a monster repellent bell when leaving the city is strongly advised, but they don't work anymore, right? Foreigners are hereby forbidden to leave the city. Oh, I knew that. What am I thinking? What? I accidentally left and came back. Hey, come on. It's not like I'm ordering you to never work again. I'm just saying you should take a break and spend some time with me. It's not every day someone like me asks a girl like you out. Oh, this guy's a charmer. But, but... Don't tell me... Don't tell me you're actually going to turn him down. Don't you know who he is? He's the Commander Raud, the hero of the Roman War. We should be thankful he's willing to spend his precious time with a destitute girl like yourself. But I... Now, now, men. There's no need to f frighten the poor girl. Look at that little smirk on the one side is permanently on his model. Of course, turning down someone's good someone's goodwill can result in trouble, especially if you plan to keep on doing business around here. Kick his ass. Uh, uh. Are you screaming? Oh! Huh? Maya! Bah! <laughs> Does she say words? Why, you little... Get away from him! Ha <laughs> ah. ha! Trying to save your older sister, huh? Hmm, pretty brave for a mute brat. Right. But you're wasting your time. <laughs> nothing you can do means anything. You're nothing. Nobody. Please, stop. You have business with me. I'll oblige. If you tell me to stop doing business here, I'll stop. So please, just leave her alone. Heh. <laughs> Such sisterly devotion. Well, if that's what you want, I'll be a gentleman and do as you say. Hey, Adel. Looks like something's up. What should we do? Oh, come on. We're gonna help. Hey, now. How about you stop right there? Huh? What? Edel instructed the knights to stop what they're doing. What the hell? You dare order issue orders to the dragon knights? Know your place. Must not be from around here. That red hair. You're a you're, you're a pawn. Heh, <laughs> interesting. You're roping, yeah. <laughs> what am I? They said it and ate. All right, new plan. Men, arrest these foreigners. Huh? What do you think you're doing? You're under arrest as suspected Roman spies. We may be at peace, but no, one can never be too secure, you understand? And even if you're not spies, you'll need to be taught a lesson. You can never, ever defy the authority of the Dragon Knights. Laughter. Yes, sir! I don't even know if that's changing my voice. Distance. Wh why you... 
Resistance is futile. You'd best cooperate until your charge is cleared. Damn it. And I realized he'd have to do as he was told until those charge was cleared. Stop. These men didn't do anything at all. Heh. <laughs> I'll let you go for today. Found a new toy to play with. Good luck with your flower selling. Well, it wasn't hard to pin him as a douchebag. Ah? Huh? Oh. Maya, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? Ah! Good. I doubt we'll have any more customers for the rest of the day, so how about we go home? Can you help me clean up? Ah! Smile. I got those two men mixed up in all this. I hope they'll be okay. I don't know. Adel and Dogie had their weapons confiscated. This is a, a start from nothing excuse and a half. Roman spies my ass. You're just making, making things up so you can lock us away. We'll see about that. The redhead looks like he knows his way around a sword. What's wrong with that? This blade has obvious marks of long use. <laughs> it's not like a European weapon would be of any use against ours, though. Might as well be a twig. Regardless, I can tell you're not just normal travelers. Huh, looks like it will be quite worthwhile getting you to talk. Like hell it will. We're completely innocent here. You got the wrong guys. Though, yeah, I mean, Adel's skill with the sword is undeniable, but that's no crime. So you admit it. Even if you're not spies, I bet you're either mercenaries or bounty hunters. Oh, right. I can't forget the possibility of you being pirates. Not quite. They're adventurers. How do you- how do you know us? Do I know you? Ah! C Commander Sias? I hope? Adel the Red. He's quite famous. I'd heard that his hair looks like fire, and indeed, the rumors are quite true. Adventure, you expect me to believe nonsense like that? Wait. What the hell are you doing here, Sias? You trying to defy me? Not at all. There is someone else who has business with that. Someone higher in rank than you. I'm merely following orders. What? You mean... That's right. It's a direct order from His Majesty. Sorry to interrupt your hard work, but I do believe it can wait. Son of a... Try walk away. Don't get all high and mighty on me. I don't care if you're the Altaginian Falcon. You're just a piece of trash from the old town. You just wait. I'll show you who's boss. Is this his theme song? My, my. Doesn't look like the... Like, doesn't make a very good commander now, does he? As a commander of the Dragon Knights myself, please accept my apologies for his behavior. I'm truly very, truly sorry that you two have had such poor introduction to Altago. That, that's okay, I guess. Thanks. So who are you? The name is Sias. I am under direct command of the General. <laughs> I've come here to bring you before someone who greatly wishes to meet you. Will you accompany me? Well, it's better than there. Do we really have no choice? Or do we really have a choice? Wait, didn't you say His Majesty? Don't tell me. It's, it is as you su su suspect, a little. 
the very person we, the Dragon Knights, serve, the ruler of all Altanko. His Majesty, King... He, uh, do I... Ki... 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 A Marl? Ki Marl. Away to you. I'm gonna say Ki Marl. Maybe the L is silent. Ki Mar? Okay. You gonna let me walk around here first? This is Altago Palace. His Majesty is waiting for you in the audience chamber. You may enter at will. Right. Looks like our uh, minds have been made up for us. Let's go, Adel. Oh, good, I can save. Okay, we went from harbor. <laughs> I hadn't saved since, like, I was setting up the menu, so... In like 45 minutes. Oh yeah, 45 minutes. Okay, need one second. Okay. Apparently, my hot caver record is uh <laughs> my my menu button. What's wrong? Don't you wish to speak with His Majesty? He's taking audience in the main hall right now. You may enter at will. Yep. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I can't look around. I had a feeling. Whoa. Wasn't expecting him to look like a merchant. Your Majesty. I have brought the men with me. Let them in. You need. You need help. Adel's good at helping. You must be confused, arrested, then summoned here so suddenly. My name is Kimaro. Kimaro Sa Sari Edonis. <laughs> I am the king of Altago. Uh, well, uh... Edel, hurry up and say something. Edel greeted the king and introduced himself. Hmm, Edel the Red. I have heard about you. But I must, I must admit, you are younger than I had imagined. You must be his partner, Dogi, is that right? Huh? You know about me, too? Ha! <laughs> An old friend of mine has told me much about both of you. The freedom-loving pirate king, as it happens. He told me of your visit to Altago. That must be E6. Or something. I don't know. We're gonna play him eventually. <laughs> I'm certain you must know his name. One-Eyed Ladok. You know Ladok? That old geezer didn't tell us anything about you. <laughs> he must have wanted you to be surprised. However, I never imagined you would get mixed up with the Dragon Knights first thing upon your arrival. You're even more trouble-prone than the rumors suggest. You need to hire new knights. Well, uh, yeah, that is pretty much us. It was not very long ago that we were at war. It's only natural to be on guard. Rod, Raud can be a bit of a handful on occasion, but he's not a bad man. He is. If he has done anything out of line, please allow me to apologize on his behalf. Not at all. Adel, it is my understanding that you are an adventurer. I assume you plan to explore our little country of Altago. If possible, yeah. Hmm, I see. However, there is a mandate that currently forbids the movement of foreigners beyond the city walls. I believe it would be prudent for me to make an exception in your case, though. You sure that's okay? Take it as a token of my regret for what happened earlier. Besides which, you are Ladok's acquaintances. I must admit, I am interested in seeing just what adventurers like yourselves actually do. Hmm? I do not mean to make it sound as though we are negotiating a deal, but I have a favor to ask of you. A few days ago, there was an earthquake 
which is an extremely rare incident here in Altago. I am unsure whether the quake contributed to its discovery, but an ancient shrine was found nearby. I had the Dragon Knights examine the area, but they found no abnormalities. I'm not so easily satisfied, however. Some may call it a hunch, but I cannot help thinking there must be something worthwhile there. Which is why I want adventurers such as yourselves to take a look and tell me what you think. I see. Sounds like the perfect job for you, Adel. No boats involved. What do you want to do? Well, we're doing it. Adel thought about it for only a moment, then enthusiastically accepted the king's request. I am in your debt. Sias. Yes, Your Majesty. Inform them of the shrine's location. Additionally, no matter how skilled they may be, this is their first time in Altago. Please ensure they are not lacking in anything before they set off. Yes, Your Majesty. Ooh. We're not even going to get into a battle in the first episode. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. I must thank you for accepting His Majesty's request. Regarding the location of the shrine. Well, before we get to that, allow me to give you this. Sham Shear! Didn't I bring a weapon? Why are you giving me this? It's fire uh, Oh, that's our, our equipment. Right? Weapons? They're used here by the Dragon Knights. In Altago, our weapons are infused with what it's what's known simply as dragon energy. This makes them much stronger, as well as easier to use, than Europon weapons. Well, they're pretty well made, I'll give you that. You sure we can have these, though? Think of them as an exchange for the ones Raud took from you. Besides, Altagi Guinean weapons are more than just strong. The dragon energy in them allows for the use of special skills. Convenient? Hmm. Rather than explain, how would I show you their functions? You'll surely understand better if you see them in action. Okay. Alright, come with me then. Coliseum? Yep, Coliseum. Those guys look really unhappy to be there. Come in if you dare! Man, I didn't expect the Coliseum to be this big. This Coliseum is one of the royal facilities of Altago. We sometimes showcase battles between swordsmen and monster here, though it's usually used for training. Are these two the ones you told me about? Oh. Hmm, not bad, not bad shape for foreigners. Yes, I'll be instructing them on Altogenian weapon arts. I would like your help, as per our previous arrangement. No reason to turn down a request from the Falcon himself. However, I'd like you, you to showcase your swordsmanship in return. It would be a guaranteed full house if you're the headliner. Ha, huh. as long as the general agrees. Oh, you're no fun. You there, ready the beasts. Yes, ma'am. Oh boy. Who's that lady? Leather, metal studs, killer outfit. She must be the executioner? Huh, spot on. Her name is Ursa. And yes, she is the executioner and manager of this entire facility. I've requested that she provide some monster tra for training purposes. Learn it by doing, as they say. A real monster already, huh? Well, let me add him. Huh, that I shall. Now then, before you begin, why don't we go over the some of the basics? Yeah. And in locations where Adel uncheats the sword, battle controls are used. These will not be accurate. Approach the enemy to attack, and fall back when you sense danger. This is the number one rule of survival. You may already know this but it never hurts to reconfirm this fundamentals. Yeah, I guess. Kind of a little overly basic, though, if you ask me. 
Okay, they can be found in the help menu, which I'm going to check. Check your journal at any time to review tutorials. Alright, let's get started. Okay. Equipping weapons and skills. Skills are linked to weapons. Therefore, in order to use them, you must first equip those weapons. Before we go any further, let us go over equipping weapons and skills. To equip weapons and skills, go to the go into the equipment section. Skills will be shown in the menu after their corresponding weapons are first. Something. Yep. Try equipping the weapon I gave you earlier. We'll start from there. Alright. Equip. Done. Wait. It seems only affects strength. You've equipped weapons, but no skills yet. Talk to me when you're ready. Skills are equipped separately from weapons. Okay, what is this? Strength Blast. Slashes downward with full force. I'm guessing that's downward in front of you, which means I want it on triangle? Y, whatever. Unleash a three hit combo. Square. Good. Looks like you're both ready. Uh, yeah, we are, but. Adel, is it just me or do you feel something from the weapon? The energy you feel surging through you as you hold your weapon is dragon energy. If you can feel it, that means you have natural talent for using skills. Oh, well, great. That just makes me want to try using some. And so you shall. Eventually. Allow me to explain the process. Skills use SP each time you attack, which is stored each time you attack, just like an A. Uh, you can use charge attacks to store a lot. I don't know if that was an A. Okay. Available SP, and it is the blue bar. Okay. Hold the attack. Stronger than regular, and increment SP more quickly. Got it. I see. So you need to store up energy during battle to use skills. Man, this could take a while to get used to. No. I'm sure if you actually try it, you'll understand much better. Here, you'll need this. Oh, good. It's a dummy doll, used mainly to train re new recruits. You'll naturally get, get familiar using skills upon practicing it. Practicing upon it. You're pretty well prepared. Gotta say, this brings back a lot of memories, too. My master used to train me with dolls just like this. Do you plan on just standing there and wax nostalgic? Come, take up a fighting stance. It shouldn't be too difficult. Simply use charge attacks and skills to destroy the doll. However, if you destroy the doll without using both charge attacks and skills, you must do it over. Over and over until you do it properly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, why so strict all of a sudden? Well, it is training, I guess. Let's try it, Apple. That's the spirit. Are you ready, then? Begin. Okay, so... So weird that it's X. Charge and uh, let's. Oh, I haven't built up any. Ooh, that you. Dude, you just have to kind of stand there with the charge. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Good. Looks like you understand how they use skills now. That's the last thing. Man, what great stuff. Altagian weapons are really strong. Using charge attacks effectively also helps with using skills. And that is the extent of the knowledge I can impart on you regarding skills. Attack types. Blunt. Slash. Lastly, I'll inform you of attack types. It's a bit complicated, but it will be helpful to have at least have an idea. 
Depending on the monster type, the efficacy and accuracy of your attacks may change. Rule of thumb is, for soft enemies, use Addle. For hard enemies, use Dopa. Oh, and there's a ranged... Strong against light enemies? Like flying? Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure... I understand this fully. There are various types of monsters, each with different characteristics. Sometimes your weapons won't work. I hear what you're saying, but I don't really get it. Adel and I fought countless times, countless battles so far, but we've never had to worry about attack types. Ah, foreigners. Don't underestimate the monsters, especially if you've never fought one in Altago before. Urso, right? I didn't mean to sound cocky or anything. It just comes naturally. Size, they're ready. Good timing. Adel, Doki. Your monsters away. After a real battle, I'm quite confident you'll understand the true importance of attack types. Ah, uh, those are Adel. Those are Altogenian monsters? They've been captured specifically for training purposes. They're broken in, so to speak, so you don't need to worry. You needn't worry. These monsters, in, are, in particular, have extremely soft bodies, making strike attacks ineffective. Which means, my attacks won't work. Just great. Why don't you try attacking first? You'll see what I mean right away. Monsters are getting impatient. I should get started. Alright, let's do this, Adel. My beasts, you may proceed. Okay. It still kind of feels natural. Still really weird with how the buttons are set up, but not bad. But my attacks really didn't work. Not over yet. Next. Up oh, there's a dogie enemy. This time the monster has a heart shell. Looks like your sword won't do much, Adel. Let me do the attacking. Begin. He literally does zero damage. Let's look at a uh, perfect, perfect guard and stuff. Perfect dodge and perfect guard. That was like my favorite thing. So, how was it? Do you un understand the importance of attack types now? Yeah, I never imagined that my damage output could vary that much. Monsters in Altago really are strong. It's good to see that you understand. Keep in mind, however, that this is the only training. In real battles, you may face many monsters at once. Alternatively, alternating who will attack, therefore, becomes all the more important. In other words, teamwork. Good thing I'm with you, buddy. That's about it. Anything else you'd like me to go over again? No. We're good. I see. If you ever feel the need to confirm anything you've learned today, you need only check your journal. There are more unknown type unknown monsters in Altago than there are known. So be certain to always keep your guard up. We're done here. Why don't we go outside? I have work to do, so if you'll excuse me. I don't think Ursa. Don't mention it. Come by any time. I'm always here. And I do so enjoy my work. Be careful not to get eaten by monsters out there. Or there won't be anything left for me. Uh, thanks? <laughs> now, if you have any questions, I will answer them. You may ask anything, not just about how to fight. Oh. Geography? Outside Altago City is an open area called, predictably, Altago Plains. It is quite expansive and has roads that lead to the numerous villages which dot the land. Just wandering about is sure to get you lost, so I suggest you regularly take note of your location. Monsters. Hmm, I must warn you though. Among the monsters of Altago, there are some which are quite enormous. We call them Titanos. Titanos? Titanos. And they cannot be defeated 
through regularly. Even the normal sized monsters are quite ferocious, and they may attack in packs. In Altago, it is considered common sense not to wander into the plains without a companion. There are two of you, but it would be better if you had a third companion. Wonder. I actually have no idea. Are we getting three? I, I'm pretty sure we will. Stronger weapons would be prudent as well. We have a procedure called synthesis in Altago. You should be able to use it to obtain more suitable armaments. If you want to know more about it, I'd suggest visiting one of the weapon or item shops, or even a street merchant. Okay, if you'll excuse me then. The shrine His Majesty wants you to investigate is to the northwest of here. Ah, right. Here, take this as well. Yay! Well, it's the same sound, even. To access items, including the map, press the item menu. When checking the map, your next destination will be flagged. Yep. Man, thanks a lot. Huh. Should you learn anything, please do report back to His Majesty at once. Good luck out there. Thank you. Man, for a moment I thought we were done for. Guess we can't complain though. We got to meet some higher ups and even scored us a pass out of town. Heck, a skilled swordsman even taught us a few new things. It's a good start to our journey if you ask me. A good omen even. Thought we gonna head out out of what? We need to kick some kick us some shrine. Kick us some shrine, huh? Okay, well, I'm going to have to do a quick look around town at the beginning of the next one, and then we'll uh, start heading for the shrine. Actually, I wanted to take a look. There's a flag! So, do we have, do we have to, oh my god, I actually have to go out up here, and then we can go all the way around here, anywhere there's a road, I'm guessing. I wonder how long, how long is this game? I mean, eight, eight was actually pretty damn long. Now that I think about it. There's 20 quests. Side quests. 20 synthesis. Oh, no, 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 there's, there's totally. There's a lot of monsters. Is there more quests? Nope. Okay, just getting getting uh, familiar with wall, with uh, the map and menu and stuff. But that's gonna be the end of this one. Uh, we're probably gonna do these hour long consistently for the most part, but it's gonna vary depending on you know that that if if we're in many battles or not. I don't I don't know how this is laid out. It's like. Eight, eight would be hard to gauge itself how you do it, so we'll, we'll see. It'll probably be about 40 hours. Maybe. We'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.